my beautiful lovely Scorpios if you would like your own personal reading or one-to-one -one spiritual life coaching you can email me and my email will be in the description box so for you my lovely Scorpios um <laughs> somebody's very suspicious of you I see someone who is going to be spying on you um because I even hear that music like dun 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 like somebody somebody is so so suspicious of you and and behind the scenes they're going high and low to get information on you or to see if you're still in communication with an ex to see if there's someone else that you are entertaining because it's like this person feels like they don't have your attention the way that they used to and they wonder why like they don't have your attention the way they used to you may not reach out to them or communicate as much as you do you just seem there's something about your energy that just seems like it's in another place whoever this person is they they used to have your attention like you could have been all up on them and now they feel like your energy is way more withdrawn and they want to know why. So this is somebody that you're in communication with now. This is somebody that you deal with now. They're just very, very suspicious of you and it makes them feel like insecure to not know everything about you or to not know when they're not with you, where else is your is your time going? So this is what this person is going through when it comes to you. Let's see. Let's see what else you got going on besides that this is like a woman holding her heart some of you <laughs> what the issue is is you could be more protective over your heart they may take it as you're talking to someone else or you have a a, a secret fling ting in the background but the truth is it shows like you're holding your heart you're protecting your heart um Maybe you were maybe you started off being suspicious with them. So it's like energy for energy. I'm gonna give you the same energy you giving me. <laughs> you ain't trying to overgive like you used to. In the past, you could have been a Scorpio that you you would easily give your heart over to someone and they wouldn't handle you with care. So you're just trying to be more smarter about about overgiving. Or falling in love too deep to the point where you lose control of yourself. It's like this time you want to play it more smarter. You could have fell deep before and whoever you fell in love with before, they ain't catch you. So I just see you taking an approach where it's like, I want to be more smarter. Like if you give in, then I give in. If you don't, then I don't. I feel like you're just taking more of a cautious approach when it comes to love because it shows you holding your heart and you could be focused more on like your blessings so this is going to be a season where you have a lot more you know some of you are feeling really really content you're in your house your bills is paid there's food in the fridge you got your favorite shows that you watch that's another thing you you could have over invested in love and left nothing for yourself now with this woman who's holding her heart, you you've learned how to love yourself. You've learned how to be okay with yourself. So when they think that, you know, you're entertaining someone else, the, the reality of it is it could be that you are just learning how to form a deeper connection with you and feeling good with you and and trying your best not to emotionally attach yourself or get too hung up on this on this person that's in your life that's what it looks like you're doing because look how she's looking like baby I ain't gonna give you my heart that easy <laughs> look at it like my heart is big look how big the heart is her heart is so so big so she knows that she has a lot to, of love to give some of you um if you're a masculine if you're a man this this can represent you even though it shows a divine feminine in the picture if you are a masculine you you know that you have a huge huge heart your heart is so so big and you don't want to just be you know you want to be a little bit more cautious with your heart so that's the only thing that's going on with you and then it shows anxiety like I feel like someone has lots of anxiety about you and what you're doing with your time or what what else are you doing with your heart does someone else have your heart or is it just me they just have a lot of anxiety um 
about you. All right. So let's let's see what else is coming up for you. This shows anger. Are you who's mad? Happy family. Who's mad? Do you have people in your family that are mad at you? Do you have an ex that's that's angry with you because you left? There's there's a lot of different things that I can see for this hostility. Like if you are dating someone and you're not reacting to them in the way that they were hoping, like if this person is like a person that they they need control, they feel validated when a woman is going crazy over them or they feel validated when a man is going crazy over them, like you're not giving them that that energy and it could make them angry you know um it could make them angry it can make them have a lot of anxiety it can make them feel fearful about if they can really get you the way that they were hoping that they can get you some of you too with family you could be spending more time with your family and this is why you're not paying that much attention to this person um you can have a lot of drama in your family <laughs> that got you occupied and you could be angry at some stuff that is going down in your family right now and you're just trying to keep to yourself. You're trying to focus on you and what's in your control and you're trying your best to stay away from like the drama of like your family or or your ex. You know, sometimes you break up with their ex and then their family starts to come for you. It just looks like you're in a place where you're trying to protect your heart and protect where your attention and your energy goes. Um, let's see what else is coming for you. Some of you are going to be ordering um, new sneakers or new shoes and you're going to love them. I see new sneakers. Yeah. So you have miracles. What One thing that you can expect this, this week is see cornucopia of, of blessings and embracing miracles. I want to know what these miracles are though. Because that's, that's too... What are these miracles that... What are these miracles that Scorpio can expect? What is the miracle that's coming towards Scorpio? Oh, victory and success. You have a lot of success. It could be with your career, your job. You're going to have a lot of victory and success moving on from people. Some of you could be leaving a job and, and you find a job that's way more better, pays better for you. You find miracles as you move on from the, the darkness of the past. If you did have family drama and you decided to take yourself out of it, you have a lot of victory and success because it's like, I'm not dealing with the family drama no more. I'm not dealing with exes anymore. I'm not dealing with a job that doesn't pay me what I'm worth anymore. And you have a lot of victory and success coming towards you. What else? You get <laughs> some of you, if you've been if you've been backed up, you have a lot of love making. You got a whole lot of love making come in victory and success when it has to do with passion and you just learning from what you've been through and applying it to this new cycle of love. So you have miracles when it comes to to love. You're going to be making way more deep, passionate love making with someone um, that that adores you, but feels suspicious about you and you have blessings that are coming towards you. So. Let's see now about the cross watcher. What's going on with, with your cross watcher? Some of you could be with a Virgo. See, I knew it. They're defensive towards you. They think you're being sneaky. I knew it. <laughs> Seven of swords. They think you're hiding something. They feel that you're more closed off. They think that you're hiding something. Like, baby, you, you ain't... You ain't giving me that energy that 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 you used to give. Like, what's going on? They want to know what's up. They think you hiding something, honey. Hold up. Ooh, they're trying to manifest you. Why does this say manifestations and endings? Their anxiety, the anxiety that the cross watcher has can be they really want this to come true, but they have a fear that things are going to end. They have a big, big fear. Like, I want this. I really want victory and success with you. I want this to work, but I have a big fear that things are going to end. Because 
you're moving slow. They feel like you're you're being you're playing your cards too close to your heart. You're being too cautious with them. You're moving way more slower. So they wonder if this is about to come to an end. The truth is you're just you're just going slow. That's all you're doing. Let me see. Scorpio, do you have anything? To, what is Scorpio hiding? What is Scorpio hiding? So you don't have a, it shows a missed opportunity. If you did have an opportunity to get back with somebody from your past, it looks like you're going to miss the opportunity. I feel like your value went up. What what your what your person if you you know what your person doesn't understand is that your value went up. I feel like you would rather miss an opportunity than to go back and repeat the past anymore. This is exactly what this reading is about. Like you're moving on. They may think that you're holding on to an ex or you got something going on with your ex, but the truth is you're using all of your energy to like get your confidence back. You could be really big into your looks now. You're changing your looks. You're feeling more confident. You're feeling more sexy. You're feeling more handsome. Some of you could be changing up your wardrobe. Like you're moving on from anything that makes you feel less than. Anything that's not putting back into you, you're, you're moving on. You're leaving it behind. This is this is what you got going on. But you could be hurt. The four of cups is somebody that is looking at everything that they lost. So you could be hurt. You could be in a place where like you're disappointed that things didn't work out or you could be in a place where you feel like you you wasted your time. You are thinking about this. The four of cups is you have two cups in front of you, but you're just looking at the cups that spilt. You're looking at everything that you had to move on from everything that you had to overcome all the people who betrayed you. You feeling like, damn, that hurt. So this is why, like what, what they don't know, honey, you trying to make a comeback from, from everything that you went through. Some of you are even still like going through a divorce. You're still going through a divorce or, you know, um, you're trying to get your power back from, from everything that, that took your power. A lot of things took your power. A lot of things caused you a lot of deep depression and sadness. You're, you're overcoming the deep depression and sadness of what you just had to go through the battle. And I don't think you're sharing it with this person. That's why they're suspicious of you. I don't think you're sharing it. When you're around them, you just be chilling. I don't really... Yeah. I guess this person wants more communication or you're going to start to communicate more with this person. Maybe they'll check on you more to find out like what's up with you. What are you doing? More text messages are going to be coming in from this person because they, they want to know what's going on with you. That's the That's the biggest energy that that I see when it comes to this person. Um, what are they, what are the, what else do you need to know about this person? They love having meaningful conversations with you. You guys are about to start having more deeper conversations. You make this person feel so excited and they are single and available for love. So this person is single. They find you to be very outgoing and fun. And every time I think about you, I get very excited. So you you make this person excited and they want to invest more in you. This is probably why, too, they're like really looking at you. This is the reason why they're like spying on you, seeing like what you got going on, because this is a person that they don't want to feel like an ass. They don't want to invest in and then get their heart broken. They don't want to invest in you and then find out that you secretly are still in love with someone else. This is like a person who's making sure that you don't have no baggage that you're trying to hide from them. All right. So. I don't know, Scorpio, your, your week looks quiet. And what I mean by quiet, it just means like. You could be spending a lot of time like home, going to work and coming home and just being underneath yourself. Some of you are really big on movies. I see you guys watching movies, eating snacks like you're coming to a place of contentment within yourself and you're trying to get over the disappointment. Four of Cups. Some of you may need to make a dentist appointment. Speaking of a, a, appointments, um... You could be making appointments. Some of you for the hairdresser. But let's see what else is. Some of you may have to get more more supplies or books for your child. 
Let's see. Some of you can also like wear more stones that are like to protect your energy. Um, some people use obsidian to, to protect themselves. Obsidian, this is obsidian. Some people use this, this dark stone. They could, it can be smaller. You can probably carry it around in your pocket, in your purse to like protect yourself from negative energies. For some reason, I just see you trying to protect yourself from negative energies. I don't know who trying to come for you, but <laughs> you're one step ahead of it. Um, let's see what's going on for work. Yeah, it shows a new beginning. Some of you could be starting a new position. Or some of you, it says mastery. Okay. Some of you may leave your job and, and work for yourself. And you could be trying to network to like to find people who are in your field so that you can get to the top. And if you don't work for yourself, I just see you um taking a leap of faith you could be applying for positions that you really want there could be a job that you really really want so so bad and you are fighting for a new position and trusting the process there's a new job a new career that you would like to start and I just see you filling out applications and, and waiting to hear back from them I'm going on to the extended if this is your person I'm going to do a full spread on them and the extended I want to see what secrets are they hiding? The potential outcome for you two this week. I'll also give you messages on your family, your friends, your children, your ex, the next. <laughs> All of that energy will be in the extended. The extended will be in the description box. And I will see you on the other side.